Does your baby's face, back, shoulders, and neck look like this? Do you have all these eeny teeny weeny little bumps everywhere that's driving you up a wall? They're driving me up a wall. I looked at my first child and I thought to myself, what's wrong with him? Did I give him a birth defect? I'm not sure. And then it occurred to me that I needed to take him to the doctor. As a first time mom, that's what we often do. But I have some information that I think might be helpful to you today. So my daughter just recently experienced the same exact outbreak that my son had. And I noticed something that was common. It was hot. So I didn't take my daughter to, daughter to the doctor. What I did this time instead was put her in a cool room and I waited to see if the bumps subsided and they did. So what this video today is about is a heat rash, also known as prickly heat, also known as miliaria. Not to be confu confused with malaria, it's miliaria. So pretty much what happens is your child overheats. What that means is their sweat is blocked. They cannot, they're trying to sweat but they can't. Who knew? So what happens is in white babies they get red and bumpy, black babies get bumpy. So that's what you're experiencing here. It happens in adults as well, but when it happens in a child, typically they sweat under their armpits, on their face, on their head, on their arms, and on their backs. Now, what a lot of pediatricians try to inform African Americans of is the fact that they may have eczema, but that's not the case. This can be eliminated by putting your baby on cotton, clothing, keeping them cool when it's hot, if it's the winter, if your house is overheated, the same thing will happen, and giving it a few weeks to subside. If it does not calm down within a few weeks, you may have to take your child to the doctor and get hydrocortisone or some type of cream that will reduce or eliminate the bumps altogether. Thanks so much for watching. As always, please click subscribe.